You're listening to the Trans Messages from Spirit podcast. Hi, I'm Linda Pineacre. I'm a trans medium and author. Joining me today is Jen Jones, who is also a trans medium. We'll talk about how Jen discovered that she was a trans medium and what her experience has been like. She has an amusing story about how her spirit guides helped her to find me to receive trans mediumship training. Jen will then channel the spirit through trance, who will explain why many intuitives are experiencing restless sleep. Hi, Jen. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Oh, good. I'm excited to have you, too. I bet you never dreamed when you met me that we'd be making a podcast together. <laughs> never. Me <No>. neither. <laughs> So I really appreciate you being to be willing to this to be the first guinea pig. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, and so you know, I have some questions for you, and the good news is I don't even know the answer to these questions. So I'm curious to know how were you introduced to trans mediumship? So I think it's kind of funny in a way, just because I've known I'm a medium my entire life, and I just thought a medium was what I experienced. All mediums just must see, hear, and feel. Spirit, that's it. We just do that and the way we go. And I think the only time in the past I was ever really exposed to what trance was is when I watched those TV shows where they talked about 19th century spiritualism and they'd reenact oh. those dramatic seances. Oh, neat. And I never saw they, those, but I read no? books about it. <laughs> yeah. And they would always they'd be really dramatic and they'd say the woman is was in trance and then she'd speak. And something was speaking through her, but I didn't really connect the dots because those yep. shows were all about saying they were phonies, right? And I just kind of... Well. Yeah, right. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> then everything changed a few years ago, and I had decided that it might be helpful for me to take some kind of mediumship class or program and just, you know, to try and build my confidence and my abilities and network with people. I thought I'd you know, make a bunch of medium friends. I thought, why not? And honestly, I think if I knew what I had been in for, I probably wouldn't have went. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a switch flipped overnight for me. I went in there and as soon as I went to practice doing the exercises in this program, I couldn't read the same way. All of a sudden, I could still kind of see spirit, hear them and feel them. But during this whole program, it was like they were, they were foggy. I oh. couldn't really pick up. Mm -hmm. But what was happening, which I didn't realize was trance, is I felt like, I felt like I was falling back into myself mm -hmm. and a spirit was almost sitting onto me or in me and filling up the space that I created by backing up. That's the only way I could have described it. Oh, interesting. Time. And what would happen is I'm trying to focus and act normal in this group of mediums because we're not supposed to be doing trance or anything. We're supposed to be oh. practicing just, you know, reading for someone or a group mm -hmm. and this is what I'm seeing and being told kind of thing. So trance was happening for you without you even trying then. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know it was trance. And I'm sitting there going, what the heck is happening to me? And even one of the, the guys in the class said to me, you know, when it's about to be your turn, you start rocking. Back ah. and that had never happened to me before and it was like as soon as it was my turn I would feel that happening and I would look down and it would almost be like I'd have another layer to me I would see different arms different hands jewelry on them <laughs> I'd have you know I'd be a man you know it would be all different things and I would sit there going oh my god like what is happening but what was so funny is if I tried to go and see spirit do what I would normally do, it was kind of blocked out. Like, I, mm -hmm. this is my guides or something saying, this is the only way we're letting you give information right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and so I just, I gave information. I could feel like whatever was going on, they wanted to talk through me. And I mm -hmm. thought, I don't know what that is. I'm not letting you do that. <laughs> but I was able to give such vivid information. Mm -hmm. Like, I could exactly what they looked like. I knew how they talked, how they sounded, because I knew yeah. how they wanted to talk through me. I knew like their movements or how they wanted mm -hmm. to dance and all these different things. And I would choose the very few things I felt like reenacting for people. That completely and makes sense to me, but I can't help but be envious because 
it didn't come that naturally for me. I really had to work at it. But I, I know when I connect through trans, I feel like I have their personality and I feel like I'm going to look down. It's a different body and different clothes. Yeah. And, but wow, and, you just went into it without even working at it. <laughs> and it's not really in an environment I would have, I would have rather experienced that, experience that alone versus mm -hmm. in front of other people. Yeah, right. That um, makes sense. And then, you know, then I, after the first day, I'm Googling, what is going on with me? And I was talking to some other people there and they're like, well, that's trans. <laughs> and I thought, okay, I guess this is what I'm doing now. And that's really how, how it I started. Did. That's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so it sounds like you did well right off the bat. You got really nice detailed messages. Yeah, su surprisingly. Like, yeah, that's the thing I like about trans. I think it's an opportunity to get more detailed and profound messages because you're not interfering. You're just letting the spirit do the sharing. So. <laughs> totally different because what's funny is I like to think my guides are tricksters and they they kind of play <laughs> pranks on me to force me to do things so yeah. after that experience I could still it was back to normal I could see and hear the way yeah. I did before mm -hmm. but it was just trance was easier and no matter what I do trance the information is just always better it's always more vivid everything that's, yeah that's great so what did you do with it after that well <laughs> I had a feeling that where, you know, the program I was taking and who I was learning from, I didn't feel like they were the right people to guide mm -hmm. me through that. And it was funny. My guys kept saying, oh, well, you need to Google a trans medium that lives near you. You're going to find one and she's going to, she's going to help you. And I thought, oh yeah, whatever. There's not going to be a trans medium near me. And so then when I Googled, you popped up and it was even funnier because it said you taught trans. And I thought, what are the chances of this happening? <laughs> That's really and cool. I had been avoiding working with trans the whole time because not that it scared me. It actually weirdly felt natural, but mm -hmm. just because I know the more I do it, my life's going to change and I don't necessarily love change. <laughs> that was the same for me. I mean, I want the change, but I found it really overwhelming. So that was the scariest part for me about learning trans that I knew it was sort of like the final big obstacle to me no, exactly. going where, I, you know, where I've envisioned myself going in my future. Like the final frontier. Yeah, that's the scary part. It's not the doing the trance. It's no. how it's going to change my life. Yeah, and I think that was almost what was the most bizarre thing when it happened to me at first is I wasn't scared. Like, it totally felt all right. I was just confused as to what was going on. Ah. Uh. And then it was funny, after I Googled you, I thought, okay, this will obviously be the person that's going to help me. And then I just avoided contacting you for a year or two. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well, there must be a reason for that. You know, I always think everything's yeah. about timing, right? <laughs> and so I guess I can't remember what triggered me, but I, I just know I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. Like, I, I don't know. I must have woke up one morning and just thought, okay, today's the day. And then I talked with you and met with you and... Yeah, that's really, that's really changed everything for me. That's great. I mean, it's been really exciting for me having met you because you're such a trans medium. <laughs> so it's been really uh, neat to have you in my classes. Of course, now you don't need to come to classes anymore, but it's nice w that we can spend time together and uh, share some trans messages and that we've got a couple others that join with us too. I really like that. Really enjoy it. So, so how do you think you're going to be using your trans mediumship abilities? That's the thing. I have no idea. I mean, <laughs> I've always known, even before I knew about the trance, just my mediumship, I always knew it was going to be something that differs from the norm. Mm -hmm. And I feel that way about trance. And yeah. I used to really stress out about, I need to know what exactly it's going to be so I know how to work towards it. And I would try to tap into it and my guides would block me because um, obviously I'm not supposed to know. So I finally let that go good for and you I just, you know the more i've been practicing and working on it and as things progress i just i finally now come to the point i believe i'm gonna just walk into what i'm supposed to be doing it's just gonna yeah like i just think it'll be just in your face right you won't be able to yeah miss it. like yeah yeah it's just weird but well that's exciting <laughs> Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing how that goes. Me so too. what I'd like to know is, would you like to connect with the Spirit through trance and share a message for us? Sure. Let's see what happens. Great. Okay. Thank you. I'll just give you a bit of quiet and uh, let you do your thing. I am more calm 
but the energy of calmness. No one is experiencing it, for it's not meant to be calm right now. The energy everyone's feeling might be chaotic, but it's actually excitement from the universe. This is the universe's extreme level of joy and anticipation, unlike anything ever felt on this planet before. Your species has never felt this vibration in human form before. This is unnerving. Your human instincts, your response cannot process this in the same way other vibrations are processed. It will connect with your soul first and your body second. And it's through those connections and that process that there is this calm after the storm, but the energy will be overwhelming to some, to everyone, but more to others, especially the in tune, the gifted, the incited ones. But the sleep, the sleep is different now. For some of you, you notice. Some, not in the way of waking up and remembering, but there's a difference throughout your day. And the energy comes in waves. And lots of people are not aware but the subtle processing of the vibration is happening. And some of you sleep but do not feel rested. For those are the ones who process more of this vibration in their sleep. And those who are processing it, like all of you here in your sleep, are those who are further advanced on the spiritual plane available to you now. So for the ones who are feeling extra chaos and un unwell in the sense of not having energy and, and questioning your sleep cycle, you are actually doing well. For the more you feel like this, <laughs> the faster you are processing this and advancing to the next level. And by alerting this to your conscious thoughts and your attention, you are now going to notice more subtle differences in your sleep. There are subtle differences and it's interesting. And the more your attention is brought to it, you're going to notice different changes and it's different for all of those experiencing it. Well, that was beautiful. Thank you for this trance message. I uh, certainly been experiencing restless sleep and I'm often tired in the morning. What about you? Yeah, I think before this message, I couldn't, I didn't understand what was wrong with me. Like I, <laughs> I'm getting lots of sleep. If anything, I'm oversleeping mm -hmm. because I felt, I'm feeling so tired. I'm having naps and I just <laughs> never feel rested. I don't ever feel calm and I just kind of feel tired and crazy and all over the place yeah yeah like i don't feel like i get any restorative sleep and it just boggles my mind because i'm actually sleeping better than i have in years but <laughs> not really <laughs> no, and I've, I've also noticed that sometimes i feel dizzy when i wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning have you experienced that at all that's interesting and sometimes nauseated and the interesting thing is my twin sister and my niece they've had uh, similar experiences too so <laughs> I don't know about anybody else. I felt dizzy. I've definitely felt off. Mm -hmm. Like just like it's taken me. It feels like I'm disconnected from my body for a better way of explaining it. And it takes me like an hour in the day to be like, okay, I'm grounded in my body. Oh, right. I'm a human. Like, yeah, I completely understand yeah. that. I've been less grounded too. It seems yeah. like I'm, I'm really grounded whenever I'm doing readings or teaching classes or doing events. But outside of that, I notice these periods of really having to work to be grounded. So yeah, that makes sense to me too. I feel like I'm just floating around. 
<laughs> well, I sure appreciate your message. Um, that's great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So if you're experiencing restless sleep, it may be because of changes in the universe, which are enabling you to process and advance to the next level on the spiritual plane. Thanks to Jen Jones for joining us today. Thanks for listening. The next podcast will be available on Thursday, October 7th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. I'd love for you to join me then. If you'd like to be notified about upcoming Trans Messages from Spirit podcasts, please follow me. If you'd like more information about trans mediumship or the classes I provide, you may visit my website at lindapineacre.com.